I look like a hobo? Worse, he said, like a sad hobo clown. And you like it? I love it. Eleanor and Park's love is youthful and infinite, and that is explained in the quote, when they tease each other, they continue to fall hopelessly for each other. It also talks about how they've learned to accept one another, even with all of their differences, when it mentions that she doesn't look the best, but it doesn't stop him from accepting her and loving her for what lies on the inside. These messages are recurring, and as you read through the book, they become bolder and clearer, and that is why I believe this quote really captures the essence of this book. 16-year-olds. They know their love won't last, but what if they're willing to try to make it work? Eleanor. She moved in with only four months of school left. Bright red hair, baggy clothes, she doesn't fit anywhere. She also faces multiple problems at home when dealing with her abusive father and uncontrollable siblings. Park. He's managed to get a free pass in with the popular kids, the bullies, just so he'd be left alone. One fateful meeting on the bus changes all when he offers her a seat next to him. What will happen when he has to choose between social status and Eleanor? And what can she do against her family problems? Read the book to find out more. The book really builds up on three key themes, love, acceptance of others, and acceptance of ourselves. Our two main characters have found a way to love each other, even with the many problems they faced. Park loved Eleanor for who she was, and despite and loved her despite Tina ostracizing her for being different and her abusive stepdad banning their relationship. Acceptance. Park had accepted Eleanor for being different. She wasn't skinny, nor did she wear nice clothes, but Park learned not to care. Park, knowing Eleanor hated the way she looked, gave her an image of herself, the way he saw her, teaching her to love and accept herself. Park's dad had accepted him, even if Park didn't follow the criteria of perfect son, according to his dad. Park had a naturally feminine face. He didn't enjoy sports, and he liked to accentuate his eye features with eyeliner. His dad, however, didn't agree. But he slowly learned to love Park for who he was, and not who he wanted him to be. Have you ever wanted a book that was soft and sweet, yet serious and mysterious? Then this book is for you. Eleanor and Park is a romance novel centered around how two teenagers overcome multiple obstacles to try and make their love work. It faces serious problems like domestic violence and substance abuse, while giving segue to a beautiful romantic story of two people that rise from the dust around them. So if you want to read a book that'll make you feel warm and fluffy, yet powerful and strong, then give Eleanor a Park a try by Rainbow Rowell.